Welcome to Warcraft Reloaded, a podcast brought to you by Mash Those Buds, covering World Warcraft Classic and its community. I'm Bobby, also known as Blazing Bob, and I'm joined by Mel, aka Melarina. How you doing? Hi. Good. Good. Good to have you. And joining the show once again, we have Ice Cube. I mean, I am Lubes, wearing an Ice Cube <laughs> shirt. How you, how you doing, sir? I'm doing great. I'm you, doing great. You were like, huh? <laughs> I'm like, Ice Cube, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Enjoy the show for the first time. We have Shaka Zulu. How are you doing, sir? Hey, Bob. I'm great, mate. Shaka is, you know, I've, I always talk about Twitch being a, a cheat code. Shaka is one of the biggest <laughs> cheat codes I have in, in, in Twitch chat. He's always answering my questions and keeping me rolling and uh, keeping me, uh, you know, on the straight and narrow, you know, correcting my mistakes and everything. So I've been trying to get him on the show for a while, and we're happy to have him on now. I am happy to be here. You look happy. Let's get a smile here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so I'd like to start the show off by thanking our tank patrons in Croxford, Turtle Whale, and Braxton. And I want to mention we stream the show live on twitch.tv slash blazinbob. That's B-L-A-Z-Z-I-N-B-O-B. Uh, just a heads up, uh, our Warcraft Rumble Guild, they upped the guild size from 15 to 20. So if you guys are quick... You can get in the the um, guild. Uh, it is WCR Space Podcast is the name of the guild. All that we ask is that you do the stuff that contributes to the guild. So the the seasonal challenges and, I mean, you could play, like, hardly at all and get them done. And the Dark Moon Fair every other week. So that's what we ask. Or you will get kicked. Um but yeah, jump in. Yeah, it, it just, I mean, it's just the the way it is. Like the whole point of the guild is to help each other out and to progress faster. So if you're not doing that, it's okay. You can maybe come back later, but I do watch the numbers and I do and I do kick. So we, we get a lot of rewards be, because of it. So come join us. Uh, if you want to join our Discord server, it's warcraftreloaded.com slash Discord. If you want to get the Kata Rested XP guide, which you don't think you need, but you might. Uh, just go to warcraftreloaded.com slash Rested XP. It's, uh, we ended up getting it just because the arrow, man. The arrow is just cool. <laughs> like... You know, it's like, ooh, the claw, but it's, ooh, the arrow. The arrow just, yeah, the arrow is worth it. So, yeah, use uh, use our link in the description below or go to warcraftreloaded.com slash rested XP. Um, if you'd like to leave us a voicemail, that is 816-866-1066 or speakpipe.com slash warcraft reloaded. Uh, we're going to start the show with our comment of the week. Then we're going to hit a voicemail. Then we're going to get to what we've been doing as of late. We're going to hit some news. And then we're going to hit some Kata dis discussion at the end. For anybody tuning in that just wants Kata or just wants Sod, probably the, f the first part of the episode is going to be m like mostly Sod. And then the second part is going to be mostly Kata. I'll try to put a timestamp in there again, but uh, that does bring me to our comment of the week, and uh, our comment of the week is from Drek Cuz HC seven one one three, and he said, "Thanks for the Kata Sod split. You're welcome. <laughs> it's kind of <laughs> it's been kind of split like that since the start, like." 
you know, like I, there's a lot of people that are like, I'm 40 minutes in and still no Kata talk. And it's like, well, just get another 20 minutes and then the rest of the episode is Kata. So uh, this this week I put in time time stamps to help help you guys out more. So I'll I th- I think I could handle that. Time stamps for everything is a huge pain in the ass, but time stamps for the split between Cat and Sad, I think I could do for now at least. And then uh yeah, uh then then yeah, that's that's going to be the show. So uh <sighs> Oh, I just lost myself. I was I was thinking I was still in my intro. Oh, guys, it's this 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 has been rough. I got uh, cattle leveling braid, I guess. All right, let's listen to this first voicemail. Hey, Blaze and Bob, this is Pally Farms again, calling back this week. Uh, I got the the chance to kill you a couple times in battlegrounds this week, which was awesome. I was on my druid druid <laughs> forms. Uh, we faced off. You guys smashed us. I was on Alliance, but I got a couple kills on you, so I was pretty happy about that. Anyway, besides the point, um, what do you guys think about uh, the extension on Phase 3, um, especially in, in regards to, like, smaller guilds that have re- just barely 20 people and are kind of scraping by maybe a pug here or there on their ST runs currently? Uh, phase 1 uh, seemed like people started dropping off about this point. Uh, you think the same thing is going to happen again, or uh, where do you see the longevity of the, the game going? All right. Love listening to you guys. Later. All right. So first off, good on you for getting some kills on on me. But, yeah, we do. Uh, me and Lubes are often together with three other buds and basically just exclusively now. We used to do the thing where we'd queue two groups, but... That stopped working. They put something in. They've been listening to the show mm-hmm. and, you know, but that's, I mean, that's a, that's a good thing. Like, you know, I was going to use it until they fixed it. It was on them to fix it. And I think, you know, we did a good job in helping them do that or at least pushing them towards doing it. But uh, now we just run exclusively five man groups and like, we just don't fucking lose. We just don't lose. Like we, you know, like between the five of us, like we're all, you know, okay with with guarding if we need to, you know, that's a sucky thing, but we're we're okay with it. That wins games. We can rotate to help the pugs. We can kind of go with their strategy if it's not completely stupid. Like, you know, so we I mean we like we just win, dude. We just win constantly. So it's been pretty pretty damn fun but uh yeah i think it's also because we're not getting anything for pvp so we're like the guys in there at this point that are just doing it because he loved to pvp whereas other people are trying to check check boxes and stuff they're, ch- they're chasing honor in a lot of these games yep so they don't they don't want to guard they don't want to sit there they won't they, they want to get as much honor as they can even though winning is going to net you the most honor period but yeah, the average player doesn't understand that concept, Bob. Nope. They also <laughs> they also don't un- don't understand that killing blows is not the end all be all. Yeah, it's a very cool thing, and you have to have players on your team that can get killing blows. But there's so much more that goes into it. With like our boy Crispix, aka Bucktastic, he's been on the show. That boy can just, I mean, he could like steal a flag in front of like a group of seven fighting us like he can get that cap does, i don't either like i don't get it like he just caps like i don't it's like it's almost like he has a cheat code but it's like his specialty we're sitting there fighting and it's just like got it, got it. it's like what <laughs> and he, he won't even tell us where he's at we'll just look at the chat and see that crispix assaulted the stables we're like what the what are you what it's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll do little stealth missions to take over nodes, but yeah, him getting it just in mid in the middle of huge team fights always just cracks me up. Yeah, but yeah, we have a good time doing the PvP. Glad that we got to PvP uh, against you. Um, so for the question though, uh, 
I'm, I like I've said how I feel about it before. Like I think the extension is very healthy, and yes, you're going to lose people during this time, but you're going to get them back because of the extension. You're going to get the cat of people back because they're going to be raid logging at that point. So it is a good thing for everybody. Hard to sustain right now, though, you know, and like. And yeah, it's 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 a rough thing. We're actually Swamp is recruiting. If you guys, you know, if you guys are decent players, you know, get you know, uh, message me in game or out of game or Discord or something, and we'll look and see if we maybe can can them get you in because we're kind of hurting my raid specifically. My raid and the main raid is our. Not really hurting all 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 that bad. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised at that too. And the Bobka Sunday raid isn't really hurting super bad, but the other three raids are really struggling to to get a full roster each uh, week. And I'm pretty sure that's happening across the entire game right now. Mm. Sure. Yeah, there's. And it usually does, especially when something new comes out, right? Like you're gonna lose players to the new stuff. That's just how it goes. And they might come back. Like, I think they really spread their player base thin with these releases, though. I really think they need to look at what they're doing with their release dates. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, although I don't hate the extension, to be honest. I think it's if the extension is this long and the uh, phase four sucks, that's a big issue. But if phase right. four is good, kind of all is well. Like it was, it was worth it. It was worth the extension. So it's kind of all. For me, at I least, it's like based on what Phase 4 is. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to balance giving people enough to do to stay entertained and keep their sub versus making sure each game mode is as populated as, as it needs to be. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, there were a lot of people that were already kind of burning out in Sod for this phase, so why not give them Kata where they can go play that and then come back to Sod when Phase 4 hits? Mm-hmm. So I think we'd be seeing the same amount, even if Kata didn't drop. Yeah. Maybe not as much, but I think we'd still be seeing people dropping and people who already got all their bis and are like, eh, I'm going to take a break. And I would employ listeners who are listening to this that are planning on coming back for Phase 4, don't burn your, your bridges. Like, people are going to notice if you're the guy or gal that came in, got all of your stuff, and then just stopped coming to raid. Like... <laughs> You know, yeah. you're 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 gonna have problems. You're gonna have to jump ship later when you could just jump in once a week for forty five to an hour and a half, and everything's Gucci, and then you got a solid spot for next for next phase. So I would implore you not to just take a complete break, but it's of course up to you. So what do you <laughs> think, Shaka? Like, do you think that like do you think you said you're worried, but like, doesn't this cure some of your worry by extending phase three? I think it's just a mixed bag, right? Like, uh, how do I say this? Like, uh, the phase extension itself isn't the problem. I think it's the, like, they had uh, Diablo 4 come out, Kata come out, and then we've got the sort of extension now, which I think is is fine. But I feel like they're giving us all these different games that they want you to jump into and populate, but how, how are you going to keep the player attention? You know, like you need new content all the time. You need, you just need these things to grip people in, but then you're spreading your player base as well at the same time. I didn't think about Diablo, mm -hmm. but I guess that does grab a lot of people. I've, I've heard Diablo's good this, this season. I've heard it's good. Yeah. I mean, that's why, good, though. that's why I play hasn't been around as much, but I play still showing up to raids. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, he's that's only right. showing that's up cool. to raids, but that's the big thing that you need people to do, you know, to keep everything rolling, you know, because mm -hmm. there's still, oh, there's still, you know, a lot of time left and there's still a lot to get. I mean, we'll cover it in the news, but there's a, there's a, now a lot more to get. But, uh, yeah, so what's everybody been up to this week in gaming? I finally got into Kata. I, yeah, I, I wasn't, I wasn't <laughs> part of the initial rush. And it's all because the raids aren't out for a week. And it, I'm like, 
I, I like the the raid push, the initial prog of raid a lot. And if the raids aren't out right away, I can level. Everyone can show me exactly how to level and what reps to get and how to do <laughs> things the right way. And then I'll I'll do in and do what they told me to do. Right. I yeah, think I think for the hardcore the for the hardcore crowd it obviously sucks to stagnate the raid, but for the mass majority it's uh, it's a good yeah. thing, right? But I agree totally. I loved watching those world first races, like the you know, the vanilla apes racing, having level fifty fives in MC. No, yeah. like, that, that was hype. But, I, yeah. I think I think the the race is so cool. Like no matter what version, I'll watch it. I watch the retail race. I'll watch the classic race. I'll watch every race to world first and a lot of games just because like I don't know, it's cool. But yeah, just got in the cat at level eighty three and a half. On my boomkin. That's it. I haven't really Are touched anything. Are good in Kata? Not really. I'll make them good though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really. If I wanted to chase the meta, what what would I even play? Fire Mage. I don't, I don't uh, know. Yeah. It would be it would be Arcane actually for now. Oh, okay. Because oh, Arcane scales better without gear, and then once you get the raid gear, like once you're near Abyss. This phase, mm-hmm. I think Fire's supposed to take over. Okay. Then uh, Arms Warrior is performing really well at the moment, and there's one other class I always forget. Maybe Asa Rogue? Yeah, I, I remember, remember Sub Rogue was good in, in in original Kata, but I don't know how it works. You're muted, I don't know how any of it works. From what I've been hearing, it's better later than now. Um, I think Assassination is the way to go now, but I don't think combat's too far behind. Combat's really good in dungeons. Like they, uh, they blast the dungeons. Noted. Yeah, I just assume anything you have two targets to hit, like it'll be pretty monster because of the change to Blade Fury. It's now a toggleable thing. Yeah, really cool. And I've, basically, uh, a stance. <laughs> I've been living in Cat since it released. I have, uh, <laughs> I have not left my chair. I, I also lie. I went to work one time, actually. <laughs> oh, one whole time. Look at yeah, you. but I had a, I had a week off. It uh, just coincided like uh, there was this week. So I was like, cool. I'll just uh, I'll live in the video game. <laughs> <laughs> that works out. If for I have you. to. Oh so yeah. So I got I my uh, my warriors pre bis for both specs already, and then my pally is just to eighty five. I've just done his professions, and then uh, he's going into the heroics at some point. By both specs, do you mean PvP DPS or do you mean tank DPS? Tank DPS. Gotcha. Noise, noise. What was a lot of the Warrior previous? Was it a lot of the reps? Uh, yeah, so you get a... What is it? There's a, some boots from Wild Hammer. There's a belt from Hygel. Yeah, there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff. There's a you know, there's lists mm-hmm. and stuff, but then uh, you get a lot of this stuff from Justice Points, which is just uh, farming heroics. I've done about, I don't know, maybe 100 dungeons by now. Is it true that there's like some like bis for like the next couple stages in exalted rep and some of the reps for some classes? The only one I know a hundred percent certainty is the Tolbarad tanking trinket is bis this phase and possibly for the rest of the game for one or two specs. Oh. Interesting. I don't know. I think it, it was uh... Sardako that I heard it on a video saying that. Some classes had bis items for exalted and reps. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe they add stuff later on. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure. Like maybe there's more items to come later. But uh, I don't know. The only one I know 100 percent certainty is that tall Brad trinket. It's like, uh, do you remember that old saffron trinket they gave the resistances? Mm-hmm. It's like that one basically, but it has like oh, a, with all the magic resistances. Yep. On like a cooldown. Okay. Really short cooldown, and then it's got a buttload of mastery on it. I think it is. Oh. That's awesome. Let me just okay. find Mel, what have you been doing? Oh, Mel's gone. She said she just got into Kata. I think a lot of a lot of people are <laughs> deep into Kata. Yeah, see, we just started leveling last night. We were going to start leveling Thursday, but something came up. I forget. Oh yeah, Jason came over, and we were doing stuff for our new podcast that we're we're starting. So. So yeah, we 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 weren't able to level Thursday, and then we got started late last night. But uh, 
Yeah, yeah, it was Mel interesting. Mel leveled and Bob followed. And Bob got saying That's kind of how the night went. Are you guys quests or dungeon? Quests. Primarily. Quests. Okay. And it's pretty chill now. Like, uh, um, Shaka was watching the upstream. It was like, there was this one quest where you had to grab these bears and throw them onto a trampoline. And he was like on. Oh, I love on that one. Release. In a yeah, he was like on release. That this quest, was horrible. That quest on day one was impossible. <laughs> Legit what was going impossible. on with it? So there's, there's no pandas. There's bears in the trees, right? And you got to click on them. How are you going to yeah. click on them when there's a hundred people there trying to click on them? Oh yeah, I guess that's fair. Yeah. There was yep, nobody there when funny. I did it. <laughs> there was no one there when I did yeah, it either. Miss, missing the initial wave? Best decision of your life. Intended or not. <laughs> that was totally intended. Yep, yeah. Yep. Big well, brain. Yeah, that's all I've been doing and then, then like raiding. And then I've been playing the last like week, I've been playing a shit ton of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Like it came out and then Sod, like phase three or something came out like right after. And I just didn't have time to get into it, but I've been playing the crap out of that game and been having a blast doing that. So that's been fun. Um, but yeah, uh, as far as uh, as far as how I feel about Kata so far, we'll just save that for the Kata discussion at the end. But uh, yeah, anybody uh, seen any good movies lately? Just curious. I have not. I don't know if I've even sat down and watched. Actually, I, I rewatched Whiplash. That is, that is my all time favorite movie. I can't remember the last time I, I watched. I don't even think I've ever seen that. It oh, wasn't on Twitch or YouTube, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah, yeah. So that, we went. And, what did we go and see the other day? Planet of the Apes. Yeah, we went and saw the new Planet of, of the Apes, which is okay. It's okay. It wasn't bad. Wasn't great. How many of those are there at this point? It's got to be a lot, uh, right? Of the reboots, this yeah. is the fourth. Yeah, this is the fourth yeah. of the most recent oh, reboots. But the like the first three were like a set trilogy. This is like looking to like maybe they're making another trilogy. It's like the start oh, okay. of another trilogy, but like in the same like you know universe of that, but like a descendant of the one guy. I forget his name. Do you want to know what I did watch though? What? It was like a it was a long form YouTube video about the history of Tetris World Records. <laughs> it was awesome. It was maybe one of the greatest YouTube videos I've seen in my life. Did you watch the oh the God. movie about the guy that that got Tetris made? No. Like where he like oh, he yeah. was involved with gangsters and and like mafia or no, it wasn't no, that was the Godfather. It was, yeah, it was, I'm trying to think of, it was the guy that played Etsy in uh, the Fine Gentleman movie. Oh, God, what was that movie? I might have to watch this now. Oh, uh, okay, yeah, it's called Tetris. It's on Apple. It's pretty good. Yeah, it's a movie, and it's like, I mean, it's probably loosely based, but, like, he did take a lot uh, of chances 100% going real. to, like, other countries and shit and, like... Got sh got shaken down and different things. Like it was, it was good though. It's good. You should check it out. All right. Well, I don't know why I brought up uh, movies. Let's let's go ahead and uh, move into <laughs> time for the news. All right. First off, in the news, we've got uh, Sod Sunken Temple loot has been changed. Um, lots of caster stuff, but lots of weapon changes. There's a ton of weapons that were like 36 DPS, whereas like the epic weapons were like 40, you know, DPS. This is for one handers. Now those, those, most of those have been changed over to like 39 DPS type of deal. So they're like actually good. Uh, it's really, really cool. Like, 
just the different weapons. Like I went on and logged onto my hunter, and the two pole arms that I had gotten are are now epic. The bow that I had gotten was already epic, but yeah, the two blue uh, pole arms were epic. Like there's there's a lot of like really good like stuff now. Like this. It could be very interesting for us going forward. Like people, like we've gotten rid of so many of these uh, these weapons. Like just gotten completely rid of them, and now they actually are looking good. It's kind of weird if you've been hoarding those for some reason. Be interesting because <laughs> it should actually, also I do have all th- all of the epic staffs on my alt boomkin. I didn't even think Ooh, about God. it. If you were an enchanter holding on to this, like your enchanting, disenchanting of these probably just oh. went through the roof. So, yeah. And like Mel's wand she got just last night or just the other night uh, went from blue to epic. Got some good upgrades it? on it. Yep. Yeah, so there's there's a lot more weapons available, which is good because like the shammies and the rogues and the warriors, like they all want this, like they all want these same weapons, and so. Yeah, I've not yet tested out the new gear. All I know is that my my alt druid has better gear than my main, or better weapons than my main druid now, and I really don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> It's but it's cool. Like, yeah, it's cool. Yeah, I think it's giving people a little bit more motivation to get back into Sunken Temple, maybe, you know? And we'll yeah. have to see how the damage kind of evens out, if this is, like, some change that they wanted to make it so casters and melee are more evened out, because, like, on the logs right now, it is <laughs> melee plus hunters and then casters. So we'll have to see. Yeah, well, I mean, hunter melee hunters, I think, still third. If they're not third, they're fourth. But uh, they're still good. Yeah, and then it's the rest of the melee, and then ranged hunter, and then elemental chamois, and then everybody else. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool with that as long as they change the BG, you know, the BG and PvP debuffs accordingly, you know. If we give them 5% more damage in PvE, I want 35% damage reduction in PvP. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying. Oh, man. Now, I'll, always, oh. uh, I'll always remember elemental shamans in vanilla. That is one thing I'll always remember. Oh, yeah. They are uh, they 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 blow you up quick. But... uh Cheese, uh, cheese bags in chats asking, do you think the the change hurts P4 in Prebis dungeon farming? I don't think so because I think they're redoing everything. I think they're literally redoing like all the stuff. So I think I think a lot of you know you get like you know a five eye level boost to like everything in BRD. It's not accessible right now. Same with like, same with like, uh, uh, oh, jump runs. Why can't I think of those dungeons? Dire Mall. Yeah. Dire Mall. I th- like, I think they're going to redo all of that shit. Um, and cause they're for sure redoing all of the stuff in MC and BWL. So I don't know about redo, but readjust, uh, certain mm-hmm. things. That's why I, I won't trust anyone right now that's trying to put out BIS lists and tier lists for Phase 4. No one knows. No one knows anything about it yet, except Blizzard. Yeah, I mean... I'm, I'm, I'm just waiting. I mean, without even knowing the runes, like, the runes could change ev- could change everything. Yeah. Like, there could be a rune that all of a sudden makes Combat Rogue the best, and then your gearing for Combat Rogue is going to be different than your gearing for Ass mm-hmm. Rogue. So, and that'll go across the the board too. But I think this was a cool change. I think it'll be neat to just see these items drop and then, you know, like see, you know, and there'll just be a lot more shards and stuff too. 
Because right now the blue gear, I don't think it doesn't disenchant it anything worth it at at all. Like only the epics do. So I do not know anything about disenchanting. Yeah, well, this this might help to get the like better. Yeah, it's awful. Yeah, it, it, like they sell for like twenty silver or something, like mm. whatever they disenchant into. Yeah, and then the epics disenchant to the good shards that you need for like mm -hmm. 16 agi to weapons so this might be like to where you could like move up to getting the better enchants now you know rather than before where it was like you're like eh, i'm just gonna go with fiery weapon instead of spending 800 gold same as a mount cost you know so oh man yeah i think My extending Phase three is going to be good for the people continuing playing. I think if you're not continuing playing, you're not going to amass the gold that you should have at the start of P4. That will be a problem mm -hmm. for the people that are not coming back. Uh, but who knows? I mean, maybe incursions will be crazy like they were before. I have no idea. <laughs> so, oh, but yeah, pretty cool. Pretty, uh, Pretty cool news. And uh, did you play any Saj uh, Shaka? Like, you haven't played I'm, since I'm, I'm played Phase Three phase. or Phase Two. Yeah, I haven't played this phase. So I did a I did a bunch of Noma, but uh, no, I haven't played Sunken Temple mm. Phase. Noma. Just, just what did just you pour it into it? That phase. Oh no, Noma kind of soured me, and then uh, yeah, I had uh, I had a lot more stuff doing Wrath at that point then as well. Like. Uh, Got bumped up in the guild and stuff. Had to do more. That's fair. And you were playing I've Warrior probably in Sod, which hasn't been uh, exactly warrior. exciting. I had Warrior, Hunter, Mage, and Priest. Hunter was crazy because you know Hunter. Mage mm -hmm. is pretty fun. I like I liked what they did with Mage overall. I, I like the changes to Mage, even if it wasn't like the, the best or anything. It was it was pretty fun to play. And then priest is yeah. just priest, right? Priest is just always good. Very good. Yeah, okay. warrior just the runes just never seemed very awesome. Phase one was incredible, mate. You got that warbringer, you felt like a god, and then you go into phase two, <laughs> and it's like, meh. I'm oh yeah, dude. Rogues even had it worse in phase two, man, because we had no cleave. Like at least warriors like shined on some fights. Like yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Rogues just looked like doodle shit and we're <laughs> pumping now though we're pumping now so happy i'm happy with the way it is now please don't change that blizzard who knows rogues on top that's but one of my big problems with kata what the fuck rogues on top do you not under do you not understand this guys all right so um so then, yeah, that's basically the sod news. There's not really much more sod news, unless you can think of something I'm missing. But I think that's pretty that's pretty much it for the sod news. Um, as opposed to cataclysm news, we have uh, the uh, first level eighty five was achieved in under three hours. And the no. guy doing it was nerfed twice. What do you mean nerf? He was the so he was using these mobs that are for quests that just like we ran into a few different types of them last night um, for different quests. It was the ones that weren't giving us exp. Mm -hmm. It's because they. Instantly respawn, and uh, and th this Shammy was sitting there with help, and just a like a AOE farming stuff. He and he was using different buffs. He was having you know, like he was having curse of elements put up on the mobs. Like and they were just respawning immediately, and he was just like he was getting an absurd amount of XP per hour. They nerfed the spot that he was at right while he was there. And then he moved to a new spot to do the same thing. And they nerfed that spot. This is also the same You're strategy. You're saying they used to give XP? I yeah. was like, how is he? Oh, I was like, 
<laughs> the magic he essentially <laughs> got the game changed, like light in in real time. Hot fix, yeah. and yeah, it was kind of impressive to see someone have that impact on the game. I don't know. Supposedly, it was the same way the original level uh, eighty five first in in really? Canada did it. Yeah. Huh. So it's interesting that they, you know, they just didn't see that prior, but people keep that stuff pretty close to their chest when they're trying to get these world first things so yeah when i saw it i was like i saw the sarth video on it and it's like that's impressive like <laughs> like there's no, no nothing other nothing else to say. it's impressive this is the same well, the guy that I did it in wrath right stream. yeah yeah he did the same thing yep. in uh out in ice cream by the time i tuned into his stream he was on his second character <laughs> like, look at the time I heard about it. He got over there. He was already oh on his God. new character. I was like, oh, 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 I guess he's done then. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that just seems crazy. Though. Like that's even faster than we went from level forty to fifty in uh, with incursions. incursions. So I did that on my second tune in five hours. So. Mm hmm. But yeah, I need incursions and cataclysm. Yep, pretty cool. I don't. That's not real. Don't listen to me. If yeah. you sit there and you have a game plan and you're committed, you can level in one day in Kata if you're eighty. Yeah, if you're committed to it and you got a game plan and you got a strategy, yeah, it's it's not too bad. Yep. We'll we'll talk about that in our discussion. I got a lot of thoughts on this, but uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So just just. Moving on with the news, Blizzard uh, uh, removed the craftable eye level 377 PvP accessories. So this was just, they forgot to take it out, I guess, type of deal. People were crafting 377 PvP pieces, uh, and they nipped it in the butt. I don't know. I think they're just going to make it. Like I, I I don't know if they're gonna take it away or what, but I've 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 heard, but they're gonna somehow make it so you can't wear that gear, in some way. So we'll see what happens with that. The initial fix I saw is they literally made the items level eighty six, so you just can't wear them. <laughs> That's kind of funny. <laughs> but, uh, I think I think they weren't supposed to be out this phase. I think that's like the problem. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Like they were supposed to come out next phase, but they it were was already a, here for some reason. Yeah, it was a, a catch up deal that came later. It's probably, you know, I mean, that happened in even TBC. It's just starting at these later patches, stuff falls through the cracks. I mean, the, yep. m the head meta gem they ended up just leaving in, but it wasn't supposed to be in TBC yet, uh, but it was there at launch. Like the 3% crit head. Uh, one so yeah that wasn't even supposed to be in but they left it in because it didn't hurt all that bad but this is you know this is what happens when you're starting at the the latest patch so I'm glad that was taken out though I did not that, that feel weird to have that stuff in the game you know mm -hmm. like the meta gem was like fine it's it's whatever because what's like everything higher item level than you can get anywhere else is kind of Weird. Yeah, getting getting heroic level gear just from a crafted item is uh it just feels bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, because what's even heroics, right? Heroics are like three thirty nine. No, heroic is that item level. It's uh, I, I believe anyway. I think it's three seven seven. Is it? No, no, heroic dungeons. Sorry, not uh, dungeons. Raid. Uh, three four six. Yeah, you get uh, three, four, six blues, and then uh, the epics from like the vendors are uh, three, five, nine. Yeah, I know cool. people went really hard with uh, archaeology and got their weapons. Their uh... what's I the what's the big there. sword? Zinrock. Yeah, you know what I did for three weeks and didn't get a sword. Yeah, <laughs> you didn't Thanks get for one. Me. Thanks for oh, reminding. my bad. That's on me. That's my bad. Yeah. Okay, I got the stupid <laughs> shield, though. Hey, you can tank. <laughs> I could tank anyway. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. It's, uh, yeah, The most people are saying that doing archaeology is a big waste of time if you're trying for the epics. 
and it's they, even worse now because it's all di- even more diluted now. Is it? Yeah. Because how does that work? Can somebody get there right before you and then like? No, Take no, they're, they're, they're character specific. But the problem is, like, there's all these different ones, right? You got fossils, dwarf, whatever. And the, the sword specifically is troll, right? So you want troll dig sites. So uh, you clear a dig site and then it'll just spawn another random dig site anywhere in that oh. section of the map. So it could be a dwarf, could be a fossil, it could be anything. So, like, especially in pre patch leading up to Kata, you, you were just losing your hair when uh, you'd see the 20th fossil of one show up. <laughs> oh man oh man yeah i'm yeah, glad i missed I'm, I'm out glad, i'm glad i didn't <laughs> do all that. i'm very glad I, it's, it's a good I, thing i've got I a lot of hair that's what i'll say <laughs> i was looking on streams and it's like every other person was like digging for zinrock i'm like dog what <laughs> how are you doing all this yeah, it's, it seems a little, uh, although it would be kind of cool just to, like, do it, it, like, you would have been able to see the world and all the changes, you know, like, that part is kind of yeah. cool. That is it cool. only in the old world? I don't know. No, it's in Northrend as well, it's everywhere. You got, like, you have a, to work it up? Uh, yeah, it's, it's not a, it's not like other professions, though, like, uh, you can dig any site whenever you want, even from, like, level one of, uh, oh, really? Battle. Oh, Thing. So you can just go wherever you want. What is and the way you get uh, the way you get the thing to go up is just by solving the artifacts. What's okay. the yeah? What do you get by getting higher level? Uh, basically, just uh, as you get higher, then you start to get the better items, right? Like so, you can you're eligible to get like the rare items and all that stuff. So like as you work up, you basically just get a bunch of grays to vendor, and then once you're like near the top, you start getting the rares and stuff like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. I mean, it's really easy to level up as well because uh, yeah, you get a you get a lot of fragments which you just turn mm-hmm. into the the stuff. Unless it's bugged, like it was bugged initially. Yes, yeah, it, it was. was. Actually, yeah. If you worked People it up, bugged about it. If you worked it up to max, that it stopped working or something like that. I don't know. I can't speak to it. Like I don't know what exactly. <laughs> I don't know why Blizzard thought that people wouldn't go super hard on it when it came out um, but uh, I mean I guess they just didn't know right uh, Fergie in uh, chat says it was super exciting too <laughs> uh, didn't they say that it was like uh, people people want to go out and dig around the world in like those interviews I'm like come on no they don't well, <laughs> they, uh, they want the gear don't. <laughs> I, I believe Clayton Stone in one of the interviews said uh, that he uh, he was like some some people just love that type of thing. I was like thinking to myself, is it the is it it's the it's the minority, right? Like the yeah, some, <laughs> some is not the right. Yeah, word. some yeah. people a like few. to kill bull like boars yeah. all the time One over and over again. Love that stuff. <laughs> love you, Clayton, but I don't know if that was uh that was uh oh, factual. Man. I think you were you were reaching there. <laughs> Oh man! All right. Um, what else? Okay, so this this is kind of cool. Um, Blizzard is doing f- like f- you know they they did this. God, I can't remember the last time it was Wrath. Like they did a speed run thing in Wrath early on, and then that was it. But like they're doing uh, a a Cataclysm speed run challenge and arena tournament. So, um. So it all starts June 2024. Uh, you can, like, there'll be, uh, the link in the description will show you where to go sign up, but, but sign-ups close on June 7th. And uh, the offline bracket starts June 12th. And then on June 14th through 16th, the top eight classic Cataclysm Arena Tournament goes. So that's the arena tournament. I don't know about the speed running tournament. Uh, I don't Is know, it like a prize pool thing. Yeah, I'm looking like at throwing a bunch of money at something. You can. I don't, oh yeah, uh, I haven't heard prize. About this. So players from Europe and North America will battle for glory and a combined prize pool of fifty thousand dollars. So a combined oh. prize pool. 
it's not a ton, but you know, still it's cool. Yeah, something you know to look towards. I don't think any of us here are going to be getting into that um, with the likes of basically all the best PVPers playing classic and stuff now instead of playing mm -hmm. retail. So kind of leaves us out, but yeah, I don't see I don't see the information on the speed run thing though. I'm sure there's people we can ask that know. It's but it, it, if I were to guess, if I so were to guess, I reckon it, it's a dungeon speed run thing. Nope. It is uh it is Blackwing Descent. It is the guild progress EU versus none of the above e EU. And it's gonna be the same it looks like it's gonna be the same thing as uh as it was in Wrath, where the two guilds have a limited time to level up, uh, and then a limited amount of dungeons they could do it probably like they could probably do like one each was what it was in, in um, Wrath. Mm -hmm. And then they just go in with that gear and they speed run Blackwing Descent. So that I would like be kind of cool. Yeah, that would be kind of yeah, cool. I'll give that a watch. Did you check out the Wrath one? The Wrath one was pretty cool. I did not. Yeah, I did watch that. I, I completely forgot about it, to be honest. But yeah, that was that was cool. I liked that. It is cool seeing these guilds, <laughs> especially inside right now with Sunken Temple. The speedruns are crazy, and I know Kata's not like the best speedrunning expansion when it comes to raids, but people are still going to push it to the limits. It's impressive. Yeah, was it? There's like so speedruns in classic, like all, all like fall on like consumes and preparedness. Like, how does it work in Cataclysm? Because like, there's just not as many of the consumes and stuff that you would be using. Well, the I'm, I'm number, sure it's number one, more. number one is engineering always. Yeah, because you need rocket boots, right? And yep. then. Uh, and then I grenades for, just are so much are so huge for trash. Just getting through yeah. the dungeon fast. And I think for speedrun, I'm not sure what the rules are exactly, but there's like uh, you know you can still do like invisibility tricks and stuff, right? So I'm not sure if that'll come into play at all. But yeah, it's just like it feels like there's a lot less, you know, like and it, like the the gear is so similar across Kata. Whereas, like, the speedrunners, you know, in vanilla are, like, stacking stamina gear, at least, like, like warriors, right? Because they want to be able to, like, if they take aggro for a second, survive one hit, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like so, like, they're, like, because the, the warriors and speedruns are oftentimes taking aggro, like, in vanilla. I don't know about it in TBC and up, like, once taking gets easier, but... In vanilla, like you're not keeping all of that aggro, so like, and they're also wanting to get hit too because they're wanting to spike up rage more. So, yeah, you know, it'll, be, it'll be interesting to watch the Kata things and see the different strategies they incorporate because I'm just not sure, I'm not sure what all they're gonna like have to use, but it's just. It's going to be neat to check out. And then the arena tournament will be pretty cool, too, I think. Yeah, high-level arena players is always fun to watch. Yeah, I even watched the retail stuff, even though I don't un understand it. The casters do an okay job of explaining, but it's it's a lot slower in retail. I wonder if Cat is still mm. a little bit faster. Like... The matches can take forever, and just waiting for people to reset cooldowns is not a fun viewing experience. Like, yeah. So when the, when they did a they did an arena tournament, I don't think it was in Wrath, but in I think they did it in TBC, and it was really neat to see the like different shammy groups that were able to like get quick kills. Like that was pretty fun, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I always well, loved the I loved the double mages and the double rogues. That was always funny to watch. 
<laughs> I'll give Arena a try. You know, why not? I don't know. I liked it in Wrath. I think the only thing that it wasn't was, very good. See, Wrath, I didn't even do it in Wrath. I liked it in TBC, but like I did, just didn't do any PvP in Wrath. But in Cataclysm, with the rated BGs coming out, like that's something I kind of like to try and would give more wake to more classes being involved in it rather than arena being very specific to what you can play and what you can't play. So that's something I would be interested in, but I still don't know that like I'm really going to mess with it all, all that much. But uh, yeah, the last piece of news isn't really news. It's more of a, like just a question that's been posed to a lot of a lot of the devs and different people, lots of discussion across discords and across the the forums. But uh, in the interviews for Cata, we found out that there are no plans at this current time to implement Raid Finder. So my question That's to you right. guys is. Should we have Raid Finder in Cata? And what are your reasons for yes or what are your reasons for no? I don't think Raid Finder should be in there, <laughs> but I like the the old like when they first and originally introduced the looking for dungeon thing, but it was like the more of a group finder instead of just like click a button, then you're in a raid. Mm-hmm. It's just helping you form the group. I think that'll be cool if you're if you're like forming a raid and doing it like that, but just clicking a button and going into a raid and seeing the content at a greatly easier scale. It kind of ruins the next scales up, you know, if you can just press a button mm-hmm. and do it that day. It took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> I have the exact same thoughts. I think uh, the little tool they made in Wrath was really good, actually. I really like that, where you could just uh, search for people and uh, join up with them like that. That was really nice. But I don't I remember think at you first should have it was a little clunky. Threads. It was yeah. a little clunky at first. I forget exactly how it worked. But uh, just the rates being that easy just doesn't feel good. Like it's. Mm-hmm. It's supposed to be, the raid's supposed to be a monumental thing. It's supposed to be a group of, what, 25 people coming together and working towards something instead of, in LFR, it's just, hey, let's find 24 other people that are doing this at the same time as me with no communication, just rinse through this. Like, come on. Well, I and feel like Bob, I feel like Bob says this all the time, right? There, there needs to be a certain level of content which not everyone gets to see and for that to be okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah well and i think it so there's a whole bunch of different uh problems people have with it but something i've thought about recently about it is it cheapens the con the content i mean they put in LFR because they wanted everybody, their average Joe, to be able to see it, right? Like, they built it. They wanted everybody to see it. Um, but the way things are now, everybody can see it. They can see it on YouTube. They can see it on Twitch. They can see somebody else doing it. You know, and, like, if they just get to do it for free, basically... And I know some people say that it's not completely for free, but it is a very dumbed down level from what I understand. Then what's their incentive to really try to get it done on normal? Like, you know, Isn't there like, better gear on normal. Yeah, but they still cleared the raid. Yeah, they they cleared the raid and that type of person might just want to do that. It's just it makes it so they can just be done with it faster. Uh, you, you know, instead of being like, okay, I think I actually want to raid, you know, I'm going to take the time to do raiding, where as this is just like, oh, well, I just got home from the bar. 
I think, I think it takes away it takes button. away a lot of the preparation, which is what I hate the most. Like, granted, there's a lot less preparation nowadays compared to vanilla, right? With all the consumes, everything else. But there's still that level of commitment you make to your character. Mm-hmm. I'm going to get these pieces of gear, so I'm ready for the raid. Make sure I have these consumes. Make sure I got my professions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? But then if you just go into this LFR, you know, dumbed down version, you you can clear it. You don't even have to look at your screen. Like it's 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 terrible. Mm. And Do you then, think it was in response to the fact that the raids this expansion are pretty difficult? They're more difficult than they've ever been, and they saw kind of the drop off in ICC and when the difficulty got really hard, and it was kind of just a response of like, "Hey, you can still see this. You won't get as good of loot, so it won't make everybody else super angry, but you can still see it." Because I feel like the average person, especially back then didn't have the time or the resources to put in to make it through a raid, right? Whether it was normal or hard mode. And so I think the amount of time that it takes now, just in our current, you know, it's an old game and people have figured things out. The knowledge knowledge is there. Yeah, like all the knowledge we have about it, I feel like it's not needed. I think most people now can clear it on probably normal difficulty with a you know group of friends and things like that but i think that's probably why it came out before and it was probably the smart thing for them at that time i think the reason it came out is because when l when looking for group was first coming out at the end of wrath Everybody, including myself, thought it was the best idea since sliced bread. Like, oh my God, this is going to be amazing. And then we found out that it wasn't. It wasn't amazing. I know people do love looking for group and do love queuing for dungeons that way. Um, I would probably queue more dungeons, you know, because of it. Like, Like, you know what I mean? Like, I was kind of like, tapped out on wrath by the time it came out in wrath like i used it a lot like and i did probably more dungeons i probably wouldn't have gotten a lot of the catch-up gear in the gammas if it wasn't there right but at the same time it did cheapen it like it did cheapen the experience it cheapened the fact that you know like one of my cool traits that I have is just being able to get groups together. Like mm-hmm. I'm not a great raid lead, but boy, I'm a good like raid uh, set upper. Like, you know, like I get people in the door. Like, and I, you know, it's one of my skills. Like I mm-hmm. get people in groups for PVP. I, I do that in real, in real life too, you know, but I think the LFR was started to be worked on as soon as they got done with LFG. And then I think the decision to make it easier came later. I say, if you're going to put LFR in, you just make it normal. Like I wouldn't hate that to be honest, you know, and then another like qualm people have, and we've have chat talking about it now, but corpse mentioned it to me years back. The problem he had with LFR was the fact that, like, you did have to go in there for certain items if you didn't get them in raid just to be more more prepared for for actual raid, for doing the highest-end content. You know, you were kind of required to go in there and do it, and then it just kind of feels weird, like... It 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 just feels weird that you're able to do it and see all the cutscenes and see all the stuff. Yeah, that's what I always pull back to, is, like... I watched my dad kill Lich King and like all the way through classic, I was gearing up towards the heroic Lich King kill. And when I killed it normal, cause we didn't kill it week one, we were 11 out of 12. It sucked. I saw that cutscene. I'm like, damn, but like still all that momentum coming up to that, like peak of a moment. If I could just mm-hmm. click a button and go into the raid and clear it without even thinking like what well, that feels terrible. Mm-hmm. I want to. There's like the commitment behind the raid is like half half of the raid, all of the mm-hmm. energy that you're putting towards it. Yeah, and then like people in the door. I mean, yeah, and you could uh, do it. I mean, you could do it to where it's just like it's a little side thing. Like, and I have had people tell me that 
they thought LFR was a good way to trade themselves, but then I've had a lot more people say that no, if you're you know you're just gonna get you're gonna get soft trying to trade in LFR. <laughs> like you you're better off just yeah. hitting a target dummy. So the yeah, but. If you just don't give gear for it, I mean, if it's just like a extracurricular activity where nobody gets a trophy, I mean, do I care about it at that point? I don't know. No one would touch it. Yeah, I mean, Probably anyone would even bother to even super casuals maybe that just wanted to yeah. see see the stuff. And Which like, I think that's what it was made for. Maybe for the people that don't yeah have the time. Yeah, but then for those people you get into the raid and you don't get anything out of it, that's got to feel terrible. You, so you it, it's this hard idea, to is that. You just put this idea in my head. How cool would it be, though, if you just had, like, a practice raid tool where, like, you just oh wouldn't get locked? So then all the speedrunners could go run heroic and, like, practice their strategies and stuff. They wouldn't have to use these private reserves and stuff, which Blizzard obviously hate, by the way. Like, would that just be a great tool that they could easily implement? Yeah. That would be awesome. A little, little like instance you can just like be yeah, like, like you I get want, no loot, right? You get to... no loot for it. It's just a practice tool. Yeah, I want to fight heroic rag right now with my twenty five people. And you can just zone in as a group. Everyone gets a summon to this whole instance thing. That would be crazy. You still got to be good enough to kill the boss, right? It's not like it's cheapening anything and. You're not getting loot, so like you're not cheating anything that way. Like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it'd be interesting. I don't know. It's it's a tough thing for me because all of my experience with LFR is like hearsay too. You know, like from other people. Like this is a I've talked about it many times. It's a weird point in Warcraft Reloaded's life where. Cataclysm is like completely new. Like I've forgotten. Like I, I only played it like halfway through the first. I mean, like maybe four weeks into yeah. the first, uh, the first raid tier. Like I don't know how many weeks it was in, but you could look up the raid tier when it came out, and then you could look up Star Wars: The Old Republic. And Star Wars: The Old Republic is literally the day that I quit. So, yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I've know. never experienced Cata. I was too young to start playing it. I think I was starting fourth grade. How old are you, Lubes? I'm 21. Lubes is oh a baby. God. You are a young <laughs> Lena. Mm -hmm. I thought I, I was know. young, man. My God. Yeah, he's got that, that deep uh, voice. Yeah, so. he, just, he has a like, sense of... Uh, what's, the, what's the word? Sense of wiseness about him. Oh, yeah. He's, he's, he's definitely an old soul. Definitely more, ch you know, I'm twice his age and I have more anger issues than, than he does, you know, <laughs> and I'm less mature. So, oh, yeah, Lubes is an old soul. It'll be fun to experience the content for the first time. The same thing happened with Wrath. I never played it. So classic is like new to me. And I'm around a lot of people that have played it on Cata private or on Wrath private servers and Cata private servers. So it's like. I am brand new to this, and I have all the knowledge around me. It's kind of fun. I enjoy it. Yeah, I. As far as yeah, so what's the what's the ending thought? Yes or no on LFR? Yes, with changes, but no, the way it was. I definitely don't want it the way it was. I, th I, I liked your idea. I just give us give us it as normal. If they want the content, they have to clear it. As it is. And just make it easier to form. I don't mind that. Yeah. Can you do normal and heroic in the same week? You can do LFR and anything else in the same to. week, right? You used to be able to. You can't anymore in this iteration. So okay. you couldn't. Uh, it's only heroic or normal now. Okay. okay. I believe it's both rays, actually. I think, uh, I think you can't do 25, man, if you do 10, man. I nope. could be wrong on that. Yeah, but. and that was the way it was back in the day, too, because they made the loot the same, which yeah, okay. I don't That's mind right, yeah. that at all. I'll be honest with you. Like, it's kind of cool to uh, to be able to have, uh, like, 10-man guilds and 25-man guilds. Like, I think that is really cool. Um, 
And I think it is really cool that they get the same gear because the reason 10 man guilds didn't work is because different gear. That's why I always say that mythic ratings shouldn't give better gear. It should just be normal, heroic, you know, like mythic should be what pro players do. The top point three percent of players that play like that should be that should be a pro player thing and something that you're doing just like a speed run like you're not getting anything better you're just like you're just showing everybody how much better you are with their same gear and everything else i have a similar take about that when it comes to sod next phase some sort of challenge mode that it's not the the gear isn't locked behind it. It's just cosmetic. It's maybe a talent. I mean, not a talent, a title or a tabard. Even speedrunning dungeons, like the all of these things, could be really cool things. Like and mm-hmm. give us something in game that shows it off. You know, like that's something that's cool. You know, like like I'd even be cool with a form of transmog in like sod. If it was only helmet or something like that, like, cause you can toggle, you can, like wear a crown. Well, like you could toggle helmet on and off, like regardless, same with cloak. So if transmog only worked for cloak and, and helmet, then you could have cloaks and, and helmets that show off the cool shit that you've done. Right. Oh, like, and then it's not something that's really changing the entire game. Like transmog is right now in Kata. It's just like it's something that was already toggleable, toggleable, and like having different types of headwear <laughs> and different types of cloaks is a really cool. Who shows way. their cloak? Let's be real. Me? There's a lot of people. What? If if my cloak looks cool, I'm going to show it. What cloak looks cool? I get any cloak I wear. I don't. Show Some of them look pretty cool. Depending if you're I a use warrior. A uh, I will oh, use a two-hander, yeah. so why am I going to use a cloak when it clips into my weapon? It well, doesn't look right. But, like, if you're it's a tank, some of the long cloaks look really fucking good. Like, a warrior tank, like, some of the long cloaks look badass. I feel like the only time I've ever seen my cloak is when I'm, like, level five, and I get this little, like, triangle coming out of the yeah, back of my neck. cloak. <laughs> and I'm like, Gray, nope, five armor. turn it off. <laughs> I, I stopped turning off. I stopped showing my helm. When I got the Nomergon crafted helm, because those looked so ridiculous. The weird I turn off my blue, helm. Nasty. Yeah. I turn off my helm and then I see a priest and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I'm like, oh, that's my helm. And I get to turn mine on and I'm like, oh, that's not bad. Oh, like the man. last one I had. Shit, I don't even know what my helm looks like on my rogue now that I'm thinking about it. Because I've had it off. Do you know what your cloak know looks either. like? Probably not. <laughs> No. Is it the ICC tier cloak? Or you mean a sod? ICC. I don't even know what anything looks like. Well, I mean, anything. Mel, I think casters look really cool with cloaks, too. Like, it like if I played cloak, a priest, too. like a male priest, I would definitely wear a cloak. I don't know about a female priest. I don't know how your cloaks look. That's another thing. Can you, can you, dude? World of Warcraft has existed for over twenty years. Can you fix fucking tabards? For fuck's sake, like tabards <laughs> with robes, fix it, Blizzard. Like the Wait, tabard. What's wrong about it? It's tucked into your robe. Like I don't know how that happens if it's a one yeah. piece, but it does. Like you if know? you look at any tabard back in the day. You know, it like, I'm looking at my character screen right so, now. So like, if you had a robe on kind of and you wore a tabard, the back panel of it would be going over your robe and the front panel of it would be going over your robe. Why the fuck is it tucked in at your fucking waist? Like, <laughs> like that shit should have been fixed in TBC. Like, back in the day. Like... It just, really? Is that what you want them to prioritize? It, yes! It makes it so <laughs> no, tabards are so no. stupid. Like tabards, Fuck class balancing. What the hell is up with the anybody? Tab? <laughs> anybody who wears a tabard with a robe, I look at them like, "Well, you're a weirdo." Hey, they're representing. They're representing their people. Yeah, it's just like it's like literally <laughs> like you're wearing a shirt over the top of your robe instead of a tabard. Like a tabard would make so many like my, robe you know, upper body stuff look cool. Oh, it's just, it's so dumb. I just, I still don't understand why that hasn't been fixed. 
years and years ago and why it was even made that way in the beginning. Like, did you guys even look at like how tabards looked? <laughs> <sighs> like you could even see, like, okay, well, I'm good. Okay, yeah, I'm going to, Woosa. Let it go. Let it go. Woosa. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think it needs to pop in unless, yeah, if you want to just do normal, I think the gamers in this day and age, I think, it could work and what's going to happen if it's normal is you're going to attempt the boss once and everybody is going to decide who sucks and you're going to get kicked and then it's going to go on the next attempt and then it's going to just keep whittling the bad people out and a lot of people you know bad people will see that as a bad thing but good people will see that as a good thing like they just mm -hmm. don't queue you know unless they're ready to go they can actually know what they're doing so i could be down with that i could be down with that all right guys let's move into <laughs> Bobby, we need to have a talk about this World of Warcraft classic. Do I look like I know what a WoW token is? All right, Kata. Kata's out. We finally leveled. What are our first impressions of Kata? We're 81. We're not leveled. We're, We're almost 82. Leveling. Yeah, we started. Yeah, we started to to level. That's what I said, didn't We're it? halfway there. We're halfway to 82. I only know that because I logged in to go train archaeology. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, man. That's a steep slope. Yeah. Why would you <laughs> do that, Bill? <laughs> Why not? Because if you, if you make me wait to go get archaeology while leveling, I might mm -hmm. just... Oh, my God. You guys I are might just kill myself. She's like, oh, there's a dig site here. Like squirrel? <laughs> I can see it squirrel? already. Squirrel? Yeah, no. No. No, Mel. Oh, man. Unlearn that. I Hit didn't that even know what X. it was. I, it's just educational so that I can <laughs> figure out, you know, what exactly this is. I don't know what I'm doing right now. All right, I'm first. dropping things and it's not doing anything for me. First impressions. Who wants to start? Plus, plus. I'm a, I'm a big fan. You like the it? leveling the leveling grind i play a druid and flight form is very good for questing because mm. i can just stay out of combat and just stay in flight form and pick stuff up it's very convenient but i like the flow of everything and the, and the quests in the new world at least from 80 to 83 and a half it, I, I really enjoy them they're a lot of fun new and exciting things and it's not just hey go kill 30 of these things and come back to me i like it Okay, Mel? It's interesting. I don't know. I feel like it's... Like, the questing... I like the questing, but you know I like questing. It just feels weird to, like, do... To have to do all of the quests, right? And there's not this, like, kind of, like, pick and choose, or, like, this really annoying quest that you spend way too much time on and you shouldn't have. Yeah, there's, there's a timeline with the quests, yeah. <laughs> right? And um, so I don't know. It seems a little weird to me. And like, it's very like hub centralized, right? Like you go from here to here to here to here. And I, I don't hate it. It's just different. Different. Right? Yeah. Um, but I, I mean, it's hard when I'm like fairly geared to judge how good I'm going to be when I first start leveling. Right. Mm -hmm. Just because I feel like, you know, it's not for somebody who is in ICC gear to go <laughs> level and it be yeah. really difficult. Um, but there's a lot. There's a lot to learn. And I think if I would have played more of the end of Wrath, I probably wouldn't be as overwhelmed right now. But I'm like, oh, my God, I don't know what this does. I don't mm. like my character changed. Like, I've got all this stuff to learn. So I think that's slightly overwhelming. but. So much it bag space going from sod. Yeah. Oh, yeah I mean, that's awesome. always hard for me, right? Going it's from, like, 
that one. Yeah, it's awesome, and then it's also daunting at the same time. Mm hmm. Sure. It's a little intimidating going from Sod Boomkin to Kata Boomkin. Is is like a whole different class. It's like I don't want to reroll a different class in Sod now, because like I log into Kata and it's pretty much I get the same thing. Mm hmm. How about yeah, you, Shaka? But I don't know. You're a Kata aficionado. I have been loving it, I'll be honest. The uh, the quest in Seuss feels really responsive, really rewarding. Granted, I hated getting rid of my Shadowmorn at level 82. That really hurt my feelings. <laughs> Do you <laughs> actually get rid of it at 82? What? 82. You get rid of it. But uh, yeah, other, other than that, I, I love the zones. The zones are great. Uh, we won't talk about this year. Don't, no one talks about this year. Well, that's something I, to be I, said, I did though. three things in there and stopped. That's something to be said about, I think, a misstep that they made um, in the expansions. Uh, like, if you replaced Shadowboard at, at 82, that's a design flaw. That's a misstep mm -hmm. by the devs. Um, I agree. Yeah, like, it was very cool that in TBC, you were basically able to just side grade through the first tier of content like with your gear from next like that is something that you earned you earned that right to be able to pick it to be able to like not have to get all the other bullshit not have to do the uh pre bis grind not have to do any of that shit because you played the entire the entirety of the last phase the one where everybody quits where they're like oh well, the gear will just be replaced. And as each expansion went on, it got worse and worse for that. Like, you should be rewarded for playing the entirety of an expansion instead of, like, Shaka here have to be like, oh, 82. Yeah, well, glaives? <laughs> yeah, that for shit should Rath be good. Max, were, was, were Glaives that good up until then? I, I don't know, Rogue. Um... I mean, the rogues that got glaives were, you know, lucky because <laughs> Warrior Orange. did a lot more damage with them. Yeah, but I, it's, the rogue it, almost like, caught up in uh, some. Well, I'll give them that. They were pretty close on the bosses. Close. Like Valinir, Valinir was replaced mid nah, or uh, mid ICC. And like two two raid tiers ago, like I don't feel like it should scale that much. Wait, Val wait, Valinir. Oh, the okay. Healing yeah. Maze. For some reason, like I got my Arresto Druid. It was uh, it was replaced in ICC in that expansion. But yeah, the the stat gap from eighty to eighty two is ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And this is where uh, the stats start to get inflated, right? Like we're at hundreds, hundreds of thousands of health now. So. Yep, and it's a little much for me. Like, Scary. like hundreds of a stat of a main stat on gear. It's, uh, but they, I feel like that was a big misstep along the way is just having everything be replaced. Um, like, yeah, new people are coming back. You want to be able to jump in, but that's fine. Like, just like give these people that played through the last expansion a you know a proper reward for doing so instead of making them replace all of their gear like wall leveling it's just it's just i don't i don't think it's a great look but uh so what else there chaka what else your first impressions the dungeons dungeons yeah. are really fun all the, all the dungeons are well made uh, i will say black rock Caverns, is it called? That uh, mm -hmm. after you kill the first boss, and then uh, this big dude comes down, and starts beating on people. He needs to be sped up because uh, you oh know we're, God, uh, we're fifteen years in the future right now. <laughs> he takes way too long to kill those mobs. We could probably kill those mobs faster than him, but uh, <laughs> they do too much damage because they're programmed to just one shot you, basically. I'm with you. I was in one of those. I think like an hour and hour and a half ago. And we were just sitting there walking behind him, just like watching him, like, just sit here and like do our DPS to this. 
there's something wrong with his code or something, I think, because he, he doesn't like start one-shotting them until they use their ability on him or something. I, I'm not sure what's going on there, but it, it needs to be fixed. Mm-hmm. That dungeon is insufferable. And it has such good loot as well, so it's not like you can you can dodge it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, well, I guess it's... So, yeah, pro- professions, good as well. I like professions. I haven't done I any really profession stuff professions stuff yet. yet. Yeah, I haven't done anything yet. Everything seems to have a purpose, which I always Do like I have to get engineering now? No, you don't need engineering in Canada. Unless you're going to speedrun. You're going to speedrun? Nope. Sure. Yeah. You don't need energy. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't had energy <laughs> at all, Bell, for the entire time. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So, yeah, my first impressions is leveling in Kata felt exactly the same as leveling in Dragonflight. I know, Lubes, you said that it was nice and easy and streamlined, and I think that's a bad thing. Like, I think it's a really bad thing. Like, I was literally drunk, not paying attention, singing karaoke with 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 Kildine on stream and still keeping up with, with Mel, barely even understanding what's going on. And... Yeah, flying around, being able to pick everything up and flying to the different stuff. I don't even know what Hyjal looks like. And I spent hours there last night. I couldn't tell you where one thing is. I couldn't tell you anything about it. Like it's it's weird Did that you were able to fly right off the bat. That is so weird to me. To be fair, you were uh only completing quests because I was completing them. So if well i'm serious like he was like i was just flying around and mel was i could keep up with mel no 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 sure. mel had to direct you and tell you what to do and like yeah i mean did a lot of the quests for you because they were they grouped yeah but i mean i did a lot of the quests for you too because i kill everything at extreme speeds like and shaka told me once i start leveling up I'll get worse, but I leveled up to 81 and I was still like two shotting everything like sinister strike, sinister strike, sinister strike, sinister strike. Like it's, it's, I don't know. It, and then like, if I'm taking, I could take on whole packs, like easy as pie. It felt really, really, really retail. Like, and then I was just, Oh, I remember talking about this about Dragonflight, about how horrible uh, um, escort quests were uh, in Dragonflight. The fact that like they just follow you at your speed, you don't have to follow them. Not, none of that shit. Like, and then everybody just gets their own. Like, I just can't see Mel's, and Mel can't see mine. Like. It is weird. Escort quests are supposed to be something that you don't get, like, often. Like, or you have to wait for it, or you have to, like, work with a a party to get it done. Like, but this was just, like, literally, I mean, I could just click through anything and just make it through it. And I'm sorry to be a downer, but I just gotta, I gotta keep it real. I mean, it was absurdly easy, and... Like, it just makes leveling, for me, not fun. Like, I guess I never really enjoyed leveling until hardcore. And then I, like, and then, like, regular leveling, I made it a point to, like, try to not die. Right? Like, so it made it more exciting. Like, you know, I counted my deaths on the way to leveling characters up. Right? So I'm like, oh, only died twice on this dude as I got him to level 60. Right? So even though it wasn't hardcore, I was still doing like a challenge mode for myself. And this was, I mean, it's like, I just wanted to be over earlier about how she like, imagine all the original Kata people coming in and with their half normal ICC gear, half normal TOGC gear, trying to go through this. A lot of us are going in with maybe it's harder. 
I it's mean, like we have I've been so almost BIS. Like, I've been yeah. almost ICC so you're, you're heroic going BIS. to be a little bit overpowered when it comes to, like, the level 80 stuff. Yeah, and it, and, like... it, and it might change. It might change, like, mm-hmm. as I get a couple more levels. But it was just, like, it was... But still, just the streamlining of it, like... I still bought Rested XP because I like the arrow. <laughs> Which is funny, but I'm talking about, like, not wanting things streamlined, but... <laughs> It's different. I don't I don't know how to explain it. No, I get that. I get that. Like I just want leveling to be over now. Like I just want to be doing gearing. Like that I think will be fun. But now I have this chore of this lame leveling experience in my opinion. Like it, it's just It is just a little weird. And flying I think everywhere I think sucks. You. I think it just harps back to you being overpowered, right? Like, uh, there's no challenge in it because you're just going up and one-tapping these mobs. Mm-hmm. Whereas if you're coming in on, like, you know, a green-geared character, like, you just start the game, you come in with, like, all these greens and stuff, those mobs aren't going to die straight away, you know? Which is kind of like what happened to me in 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 Dragonflight. I picked the new shiny for my first playthrough on the uh, the new dragon race. And everything was easy as pie, right? But then I boosted a fresh rogue. He was in all greens, and it was more challenging. Like, it was quite a bit more challenging. I don't know if it was because I did wrong talents or what. I have no idea. But like, it was very different um, from the dragon heroic class or whatever they would call it. Yeah, somebody in my chat mentioned that they did 80 to 85 in full phase one. Wrath Biss, and it was not easy at all. Yeah, I could and, like I, I could see that how that something or there. it could just also be like based on class. Like Yeah, that too. I'm sure it's a little bit of both. Like, but it's it is definitely it's definitely like and the flying thing, I really hate it. I really hate it. I hate all the ragnaroses flying around. Like whoever thought a mini rag flying mount would be a good idea. Like, I just don't get it. I don't get it whatsoever. It has it makes nothing it has nothing to do with a Tolkien type fantasy world. It just it's dumb. It's just dumb. <laughs> like, and I wish I could turn that shit off. Like, I wish I could just make that a normal dragon. Like, it fucks with my experience, and like, that sucks. I'm sorry to be a downer. I'm usually not a downer, but like, th- it's whenever that mount gets brought up, it's over for everyone else. It's it's a mount is your kryptonite. And then the transmog bullshit. I want to go buy it just so I can ride it around him. Oh my god, Mel. <laughs> You I mean, you will be a solo leveler at that point. I am a solo leveler with a tag along <laughs> child. Um, that's pretty oh, much how man. we're leveling right now. But yeah, the but flying thing. But at least I thing, could annoy him. You know what I like, mean? Like, why did they wrath? You had to like work up to flying, and you get to fly the last two levels. That was a good thing. Why did they get rid of that in Kata? Like, why are we flying right at the beginning? I think those are. You could already fly. Dev option. Dev. Same with Wrath. You no could already fly. Well, I think it was to do with the landscape, right? Like, look at a place like Hyjal. Like, could you imagine how AIDS that would be if you'd have to run around on foot? Why did they design it? Zone? Yeah, but why did they design it like that? Because like, it's Mount Hyjal, Bob. Come on. <laughs> Mount, it's called Mount Hyjal. <laughs> this isn't Hill Hyjal. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the Flint Hills. I drove by those the other day. I just, Wonderful. I just don't get w- w- where they thought that was a good idea. Like, it, it, I just don't get it. And then, yeah, dude. So, in Kata before, I had played Horde, right? And flying around uh, Org, the new Org, wasn't all that bad, I guess, because Org was completely redone, right? Like, it was completely redone. So, you just went to Org on accident? Because I used to play in Sod, and I thought I was a Horde character. I flew into Org. Nothing happened. I was safe. Don't worry <laughs> about me. But I was like, this is an Org? What is this? 
And I was like, I can't be here either. (laughs) Well, and I think maybe that's what cut down. So in here in here in Cata last night, I'm flying above Stormwind and I'm like, this looks like a cartoony mess. Like this isn't what I envisioned Stormwind to look like from above. But I guess I couldn't envision Org because Org completely changed. Mm-hmm. So I was like, so it wasn't as bad for me, I guess. But yeah, above Stormwind, I was just like, why is everything? I feel like like a lot of these corners should be pointy and not rounded. I it's a it's a weird little small thing, but. I just feel like it doesn't look like Stormwind from from above. And that's valid enough, yeah. Yeah, it was off putting. Seeing everybody fly around in Stormwind was driving me nuts. Like I just I don't I think it was a bad design choice to have flying everywhere. And that's why I I talked about it like a month or two or a few months ago how I wished that like with their opportunity of bringing Kata in and us being on the same client as Dragonflight, like just make all flying mounts like dragon riding. Like, I don't want you hovering five feet above the fucking bank. Like it's lame. Like don't do that. Please but if you that. see people flying, like, you know, you would pull out your, your, your flying mount when you're going to go a long distance, but you'd use your, your normal mount a ton more. And then, like, the whole mount menu, why can I not sort that fucking thing between <laughs> flying so and ground mounts? I've got 100 fucking, or 99 mounts. Like, I wanted to see all of my flying mounts to choose which one I was going to use. <laughs> yeah, there was a lot of stuff so that, just, that just upset me. And just, I, I had... I had told a lot of people I completely forgot about Kata. Well, last night stuff started coming back to me and I started remembering how angry I was at all the changes. The I mean, talent that's why trees. Kata is such a controversial thing because everyone is like, this is the change. This is like the break point of classic being classic. Yeah. It's that's, yeah. It's, that's what the whole thing was about. Yeah. It, it is no longer classic. It is, it is retail and they literally changed everything. Like mm-hmm. that's the problem. I think that I'm sitting with is that, they changed everything. And it's, it changed a lot, but I don't know that it's more than a lot. Like, everything. I'm, I'm still not at the point where I'm like, it's bad. I'm just like, there's a difference between it being different and fine or different and bad. Right. And I'm not at the point to say that I think it's different and bad. I think a lot of the things are bad. I think there are, there are some good, but I think, in my opinion, the majority of the changes are bad. And I think I'm only going to enjoy raiding. And that sucks because, like, and it's so weird because people tell me they can't have Sod as their main game. And I'm sitting there thinking, I can't have Cat as my main game. I don't want to live in that fucking world. Like, mm-hmm. I want to live in a world that's, like, feels like a, like a, like a world and not, like... I don't know. I don't know. It's take up archaeology. Take me around the world. (laughs) Around the world. Around the Yeah, I don't yeah. It's I'm gonna keep going with it and keep trying to like find happiness in it, but all I'm saying is like devs, please keep working on sod for this podcast sake, (laughs) because I can't come here and bitch about Kata every week like that'll just like i'll just i'll just stop the podcast all together cat is going to be good for the super sweaty ones that want to play at a high level because the raids are yeah. harder they are harder and it's going to be good for the people that want to have harder content which, which is I think a very small Bob, you, yeah a very small. Yeah, it does uh, suck because it's not going to be the majority. Yeah, but like, can, really, I think people are going to like it more than they think. So, like, think about our our buds that we hang out with in Sod. Now, think mm-hmm. about how many of them want to raid in class or in Kata. They won't. <laughs> yeah. Like, and 
think about the people that do want to raid that harder content. You start to get more and more dickish people as you move into that stuff. More and more elitist people. More and more, you know, and that, like, that, that eats at you, too. And I it think... It goes along the lines of any guild, though. I think you have to find the people that have similar goals as you. I think the most challenging part of that is when you're somewhere in the middle. Because you inevitably get some people that are more on the casual side, and you inevitably get some people that are more on the sweaty side, right? And so there's conflict there. And But I think in general, like, surround yourself with people that have a similar goal in mind. And if that's having fun or if that's speed running or if that's doing something else, like. Yeah. Find your you people. Know. So it's, yeah. so it's, so it's weird, right? Like I enjoy myself more in a casual setting. Right. But I can, I can go with the best people and do well, like, and just be like, just be part of that group and be someone who like, I mean, like when I was doing the Pummel G D D D K P S, like I was the rogue. Like, and then I was like, like when we had to do weird shit, like when we didn't have enough hunters, I was the guy that had to go in and sh and like shiv on uh uh you know anti heal uh, uh wound right like our antiseptic too. Like when things were gonna like in rage like. I was the guy that had to do that specialty stuff. Like, I could play with the best of them, but I generally don't like most of those people. Like, it's been cool. Like, I feel like content creators are like, uh, I'm going to piss people off, but content creators are like the only ones that I could actually handle because they're cool people that are also good at the game. But the majority of people, and they get their, their high of like, of like this is kind of getting deep but they get their high of being popular and that makes them happy enough whereas the average really good player does not get that they don't get people to watch them they don't get anything and they are just the biggest fucking pricks on planet earth and like i don't like hanging out with those types of people and yeah, like, so I can be part of the best guilds if I want to. I just don't. So I think that's fair. I think it's smart to put yourself around people that you want to play with and the type right. of people that you want to be surrounded with. But I think... Yeah, I remember my first raid inside where we went with... <laughs> I don't even remember who Rugs. we went with. Rugs. Speed yeah. run. And I was like, what the fuck is this? This is not what I signed up for. And see, I, I was fine. Let leave me alone. And Bob was like, "Oh yeah, did I forget to tell you it was kind of sweaty?" And I was like, "Kind of sweaty? No, no. Like, first of all, I just hit level cap. Like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, I don't know if I need to roll on this. I don't know." Bob was like, "Why didn't you roll on that?" I was like, "I don't know because there's a thousand things going on, and somebody's gonna die. And it's gonna be my fault." And it was so stressful. I hated it every minute of it. And see, I can I can hang with that all day, and I loved doing it with like, with like the ten the ten man stuff because like I really didn't have to deal with very many assholes at all, and but I think that was due to us being in swamp with all the creators, like and people that are just generally good at the game, people that know to kick, people that know to stun at certain things, people like these things change the landscape of raiding across the board. Like you'll hear Oprah mm -hmm. saying it constantly in our raid guys kick more. Like, like it's, it changes the whole way that it works. It makes everything so much easier. It makes the healers ease like their job easier. It makes everything easier. And then on top of that, just knowing to get your proper debuffs on, like knowing like and these are all things that like the content creators and you know the really good people just know and you don't have to fucking constantly tell them uh, you know and it's like it's but i think we're gonna run into the problem with kata where i mean i think kata dies in a month i think kata when it comes to population with that 
All right. Well, in the sense that I'm saying dies, I think I think you're going to be able to see it in Ironforge.pro. I think it's going to half within a month of the amount of people that are raiding. And then within two months, it'll be down to an eighth. I think the hype dies fast, but I think with every raid release, it's going to shoot back up because these are such memorable raids. But People will come back to raid. But they're hard. I think it's just going to be the same thing the hams with sod, where the content comes out, it's, it's popular for a while, but then the sod content's going to come out. So people are going to jump, they're going to go back to sod, they're going to have some fun with sod, and then, oh, the new counterfeit comes out, they're yeah, going to jump gonna, back. I think and we're going to... It's, it's, it's going to be a ping pong, you know? I think you could you could be right. I mean, I mean we, we know that part's going to happen regardless, right? Um, but I But I think that we're going to see the biggest drop-off in the first tier raid that we've ever seen across vanilla. I mean, uh, it's a safe bet to make because it's TBC what historically, right? Well, yeah, yeah, that's the bet you're making. I'm saying that it's going to be, it's going to be way worse than it was prior in any other expansion. It's going to be way worse in phase one. Like we're going to see the drop immediately because okay. people are going to go in and they're going to fail and they're going to yeah, think that I mean. they could do heroic, and then they're going to fail, 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 and then I was two just weeks. About to pose that question. To yeah. You. Do you think that will be a player problem or a content problem? Player problem. Kind of my, yeah. Answered my question while you were talking there. Yeah, I think like I like challenging content, but I and I you do too, and I think Lubes does too, and Mel does too. I think we are outliers in the classic uh, player base. I think we really are. And I think that's I like challenging content, but I like the idea of progressing through challenging content. I don't love like the problem I think with the player base right now is that really until ICC, we didn't have challenging content, right? We had content that everybody could do and they thought that they were really good at the game, right? And now it challenges and it like challenges people's egos too, right? Where they're like, you guys must be the problem, not me. And I think that's what it brings out in people. And I don't like that. And I think if everybody just, I think with Kata, the one thing we have going for us is that I do think more people understand that this is more challenging content. And so more people aren't expecting to go in day one and, you know, clear it just like they have. Although a lot of us from Sod probably <laughs> lost that battle, right? But I think that's, my biggest barrier with it right now and i don't know if that makes sense well i don't know if, i don't know if this is a hot take but i think uh phase two tbc was harder than icc uh the last two bosses are the last boss at each of the dungeon i would i would agree with that yeah what was phase Fa two? fathom lord was pretty crazy too dude like, I don't um know. tempest keep uh the guy at the end and you know where we all had to pick up our different we weapons and shit like Oh, like yeah, remember yeah. that and then uh lady vash where we all were have to drop like the seeds we got from dire mall mm -hmm. like i was so proud of our guild when 25 seeds were used during that battle i was like oh you guys you guys but i think yeah i think anybody who really wants to be into kata uh, i implore you leave your casual friend guild if you want to be success successful in heroics heroic uh rating you need to go find that because you are not going to be able to do it with with uh 10 casuals and 15 hard uh hardcores i mm -hmm. implore you to switch early although there should be lots of like it's going to be, I, I feel bad for the guild leaders in Kata because it could be a lot of recruiting. Like, you're going to you're gonna have a lot of turnaround. This is just my guess, but I feel like I am right. <laughs> like, it's, I think it's going to drop off fast. And I'm just curious if, like, I guess you just have to raid, right? For it to actually show up. You don't have to actually complete bosses. For what the Iron Forge Iron Pro? Forge? Yeah, 
Yeah, I think I you just have to raid. I don't think you have to complete the bosses for you to be counted in the number, but I, I bet think you have to know at least the first boss or something. I think it would go off raid IDs, right? Yeah, I think, it, yeah, it, it, it just goes off individual characters in each of those raid IDs. But yeah, I don't, yeah, I think it's gonna, I think it's gonna be interesting because if it's true that the, you know, the bosses in the first phase are like similar, same difficulty to ICC her heroics, like that's a problem. It's gonna be tough. Some bosses are easy, like people hype it up a bit too much. Some of the bosses are very easy. Any, anyone, and I mean anyone, can kill one or two of those bosses on heroic, no problem. And but the and your the guild, majority, the, they're pretty hard. Well, and your guild leader and guild leadership knowing that is key for you guys too, right? Exactly. Yeah. Like and knowing when to throw in the towel, and there's going to be half your raids going to be like we should be doing this on heroic, and half the raids going to be like, come on, let's just get out of here, dude. Like let's do it on on normal. So yeah, that is the average player experience, hundred percent. Yeah, I th I just yeah, it'll be interesting to see how everything goes. It was interesting. You talked about guilds and stuff. Like we we left Varg, um, well on we our, on our mains, but uh, yeah, Varg set up to be a ten man raid, you know, and they've got like a few people over ten, but like we're not interested in jumping in the overfill raid, you know, so. We ended up joining Hammer's uh, uh, Hammer Hammer Dances Guild, but it was Speaking weird. Of guilds, what do you guys think about the the new guild stuff in Kata, like the guild rep and the guild rewards and stuff? So they I think changed it's net positives. It. Lots of it's good, but like in the past, okay. So someone help me with this because they said they changed it a bit, and I'm fucking. I think I fell asleep during that part of Crix's interview. Um <laughs> where uh where uh they were talking about how it rewarded the huge guilds but like kind of screwed over the small guilds and they were doing something this time around to make sure the small guilds still were able to get the perks. Just Isn't it like individual participation or something like that? Like you level up I don't individually. Know. I don't know. Maybe chat. I think it was too. like it, it was like the whole hive mind thing, right? Where like uh, you just like recruit more and more people into your guild, so you can mm -hmm. get your uh, your guild levels faster, so you get the like the rewards at the end. Well, that was the way it was, but they made some sort of change in Cataclassic to make it so the small guilds could still get the perks. Uh, yeah, without... and I want to say they changed it so that you as an individual leveled up instead of your guild like like you're you could be level like however active you are determined what your guild level was and mm -hmm. the access to what perks you had but i yeah i think that is true that uh it's whatever your guild reputation is like your guild isn't getting reputation everything's unlocked but when it when yeah. you hit revered with your guild, you get the revered awards. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's that. I was think it's cool. Change, I think which is nice. all of the guild perks, like let's just I'm in Kata right now. Um, like mobile banking, cool. Like the stuff that like it's the little quality of life changes that you get yeah. with this. There's nothing that like makes you a significantly better player because you have access to it. That's like guild, guild, guild of mail of things. Guild mail instant. That is so nice. That's awesome. Oh, that is cool. Hundred percent move speed while dead. I know we all need that one. <laughs> not, but not Bob. Bob doesn't die when he's leveling. Mm. No, because he has mail behind him. Yeah, because he's <laughs> flying up in the air watching me kill everything. Oh man. Yeah, I told you fly about yeah, well, if it wasn't the fine mount, you would have just been on follow. Like, let's be real. Oh, man. We've done this way too many times. For you I like the, I like the guild like... stuff. I think it's nice calls. There was, like, there was, there was obviously uh, the small shady thing with, like, people just recruiting more and more people to, like, because uh, you get gold from them, right? Put into the guild bank. I think that's still a thing, but, I mean. If someone yeah. told me that uh, instead that is of pretty cool on the guild 
thing, each caster that has a res got a mass res. I did get a That's mass a res. Yes, every, I got one too. Every caster that can res has a mass res now. I didn't know if that was just a priest thing, but... I thought it was just a dream that thing. Was... Someone in my chat just said that. <laughs> That was the biggest, that was one of the biggest qualms that people had with the small guilds is be like, this is bullshit. Like, like this mass res, like completely is just the best thing in the game for mm -hmm. Prague. And if you're not in a big guild, you just don't have it. So yeah. that, Dude, I had all these really cool candles change. and I was like, Shaka, what do I do with these candles? He was like, nothing. It's, you can sell them. And I was like, wait, where's my prayer of... Fortitude. Like, oh my god, <laughs> it's it just, just fortitude worked? now. It's just fortitude. Oh. You know, certain things should have always been certain things. Okay, I had to get rid of my uh, 2000 Simbler Kings as well. It's fine. <laughs> I'm sure that felt good. <laughs> right. Yeah, I got, uh, got 10 silver for it. It felt pretty good. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, those types of changes, like changing fortitude, like instead of having a prayer for the group, and I mean, that just seems like. A no, a no brainer to me. Like that seems like it should have been changed a long time prior. Yeah, like Mark of the Wild is just you press a button and the entire raid gets it. That's sick. Yeah, like we all remember, uh, we all remember TBC shamans, right? So, yeah, like I mean, but at the same time, though, no, I didn't raid with shamans on TBC. There is something to be said about going slower. Like everybody in classic and in private servers, I've seen, um, everybody's all about speed, speed, speed. You know, and like I like kind of just chilling, and like those rebuff times are like a chill time for me. But people who have to buff, it's not a chill time for them. It's a suck ass time for them. Yeah, you you play rogue, you get buffed. <laughs> yep, like you just sit there and just like you ah, sit there and stealth and you eat your food buff. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I'm a tricks, I'm a tank tricks master. It's one thing that I was praised for in Wrath, not by my guild, unfortunately, they didn't know how good they had it, but in my uh, <laughs> GDKPs, they were like, oh my God, Bob, I fucking love you. Like, because, but like my guild had it from the very be beginning of Wrath. So the yeah. tanks just thought that like, that's what they did, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, they were like, damn, I'm good at tanking. <laughs> Little did they know, like, I was literally tricksing them and fanning twice on every single huge pack. And that's the reason they had so much snap threat. <laughs> yeah. But in GDKP is where they have shitty players most of the time that don't even have tricks, like, on their bars. Like, they really noticed. They were like, damn, Bob, I fucking love you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh yeah. I, okay, so let's let's talk about um whew, I'm trying to think. So much has changed. Like so Yeah, we talked about the reps. That's why you want a quest, is like to make sure that you're honored and everything so you get your tabard. Like I'm following the rested XP guide, but I feel like maybe like I'm almost like honored in hygel like should i have left hygel and like moved i mean it on depends what else? you get from it i know as a boomkin i don't get anything from exalted i got to revered i did all the hygel quests got to revered i mean maybe not all of them but a lot of them got to revered and then got my i think it's my helm enchant from there from hygel and then i'm out like i'm i won't touch that rep i got it so I think it, it depends, right? Because uh, I'm an, I'm a completionist personally, so I just like getting everything exalted anyway. So I just mm -hmm. uh, I just I like to fully complete zones. I like to do everything. But uh, if you if you're one of these planners, then you definitely want to just take a look at the the gear, the list of the reps, see what's there, and just see if it's worth it for you. You get the tab out of friendly, so you can always do it later if you really want to. You just go into the heroics and uh, blast them out whenever you feel like. But yeah, there's a you know there's, there's really good loot from these. Uh, Rewards, so you just gotta see what's what's good for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Anything else you can think of? Talk about Kata. Anything in chat? Anybody want us to hit on any uh any uh different topics? I'll just hit you with a random one. Uh, Sweet. I feel like every class now has healing. 
and I don't know how to feel about that. Me personally, as a <laughs> warrior, I love it, right? Because I'm just running around, I'm pressing victory rush, I'm healing for 22% of my max health every time I get to use it. So I'm just going mob to mob to mob, murdering mm -hmm. things, and I love it. But at the same time, I can see how that could be a bad thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah, well, that yeah. was, it was kind of making Sad, Sad, Sad. Kind of into that. Well, Sad in phase two, we got some heals on the warrior, which like helped out quite a bit. But like, do you need it for like, I don't, yeah, like, I feel like warriors always kind of needed a self heal, like something it was on a cooldown, but like, I don't feel like rogues ever needed a self heal. Like, your, your self heal is stopping motherfuckers from attacking like that's your that's yeah, yeah. that's your self heal <laughs> you're literally healing because they're not moving like yeah but like everybody having one that's where we start getting into the weeds like and didn't in retail didn't they just like get rid of like uh like uh first aid completely or is it just like nobody gets it because there's no reason to because you have your own self heal that you do during combat without stopping I can tell you, I'm not. I'm not up to date on retail. Yeah, I, 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 I was just curious about that because, um, uh, what about weapon skills? Like, people bitch about that a lot. Like, weapon skills now, just you just have them. Like, they're just, it's a thing. Yeah. I feel like it's just a, a chore, though, no? Like, did anyone love, like, having to go to, like, an immune mob somewhere, <laughs> like, by Black Temple, and sit there and just wail on him for, like, an hour because you forgot to level your pole arms? Like, I don't know. I don't know. It kind of felt good. It, it kind did. Of felt MMO like. Yeah. yeah it, it, it is I definitely MMO like. I'll give you that. That's, that's, that's true. Like, you were in my stream when I was, like, I literally, like, game planned. Got int gear on my hunter. Like you were there when I leveled like three or four of my different weapon skills, and I got all the fastest weapons. I got all the int buffs that I could. I got some like the int gear that I could get from like PvP that I could just buy for 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 gold. I upped my int a bunch. Like and then I just went and like found and I found a way to level it quickly right and that's fun like you that guys, was fun do you guys me. feel like this is like this is like dad saying i walked to school <laughs> in the show up there both ways, very right? similar. Like, it's like very it's similar. very much like i fucking went through this you new players you need to go through the horribleness of leveling your weapon skills right like i mean mm. i get that it's like something that you enjoyed but i don't think that anybody when kata came out said fuck you i can't believe you're not making me level my weapon skills right 20 years no later now we're like like well that's what ruined the game and it's not it's not what ruined the game like no it's a combination of everything changed, yeah and it's a combination of a lot of things but i i feel like it's we're focusing in on these things that really weren't the the destroyer of the classic experience. I don't think leveling your weapons weapon skill destroyed the classic experience. I don't think that, you know, anything <laughs> like being able to fly and all of that. What? Just laughing at a comment in chat. <laughs> Jay Julio's like big BDSM vibes from WoW players. Punish me, Daddy Blizzard. <laughs> Seriously though, like why are we why are we asking them to level make us level this coming from someone who has never had to do that because I've always been a healer, so my weapon skill didn't really matter. If you were a paladin, it would matter. But I wasn't. <laughs> I think I've always been a priest or a druid. Oh man. Well I mean it, so the one thing I will say is defense skill. That's something as far as like casters are concerned. Like sure. I'm glad casters don't have to deal with that shit anymore. Cause like most people are just ignorant of how defensive skill was very important to them as a, as a caster. 
You like, always wondered why I ran through mobs and didn't just stop and kill them. It's because I was leveling up my defense <laughs> and I was just sitting there running, letting them hit on me and getting well, away. If and you're, now who's the big brain? Yeah, you know if you're saying? if you're a level 60 with 200 of 300 defense, then this means that mobs that are 10 levels lower than you can crush you. <laughs> Like it's just like not crit you, crush you. Like oh, and, and you're dead in two hits. Yeah, it, and that's so many people found that shit out the hard way in, in in like hardcore, and I just feel like that was a waste of time to have to like level up your defense skill. Just get hit. Yeah, like as a caster, because like the whole point is to not get hit. I mean. Same with with Rogue, too. If you were working up as a build where you're stunning most of the time, your defense would be way behind. Like, and yeah, it's just like... Point, like you were saying, the self-healing is just not getting hit. Yep. Yeah, so... yeah, You didn't even touch on the main point of defense, though. Tanks no longer have defense. Oh, yeah, okay. Explain big. this to me. I don't know. I, I have no idea what you're gone. talking about. Defense what? is gone. There is no yeah. defense on gear. Or what anything. do they have now? They have dodge, stamina. they have parry, and they have stamina. <laughs> there, there's no defense in the game anymore. It's just gone. In so weird. Is this the part where, is this the point where you can just, as a warrior, you could like just switch from your DPS gear, or you could just use your DPS gear as tank gear, and it, it would be fine as long as you change spec? Essentially, yes, but uh, obviously he wants uh, the defensive stats from like the more, the more defensive items, right? Like the the parry and the dodge and stuff like that. But you can uh, you can reforge now as well, right? So you could get a DPS item, reforge one of the stats to parry or dodge or whatever, and it's a pseudo tank item. Man, so no, wow. nothing nothing gets wasted, you know. I I really like that at least. Like something drops and like it might not look that great, but you can reforge one of those stats. It's usable. Listen, I feel like that just makes my life more complicated, to be fair. It's an add-on, man. Right? It's an add-on. It's okay. Like, it's I like to it. go in and just be like, I know this is what I need, not, like, evaluate every piece as, like, <laughs> maybe I could reforge this. That's not my game. I mean, I think the, like, rule of thumb is just to reforge everything. Almost, yeah. Like you tried to reforge yeah. everything until you hit your soft caps of hit rating, uh, you know, crit rating, d depending on the videos, class. But, yeah, yeah, depending on the class. But like hit rating, um, what's the dodge parry? Expertise. Expertise rating. Yeah. So th no more defense. Yeah, we have mastery now. That is weird. Mastery is a stat. I I kind of enjoy mastery. Do you like it because it's like a one size fits all? Yeah, it's like you see mastery on something, and it's like I'm that's probably know. good. It's, it's cool. It's cool. <laughs> it's like, I love mastery as a warrior because I have wind fury again, and I have missed wind fury. Oh, that's your mastery. See, and I My feel mastery like mastery is an extra attack. I love wind fury. I feel like if you're a dagger assassin rogue, like I feel like mastery wouldn't be as good because our wait it does it changes based it on changes your spec. spec. Yeah, okay, my mastery is oh. it makes my eclipse hit harder. Yeah, and in combat like you whole... get wind fury basically. I bet it's different for assassination. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess that was the way that they too. just made their life easier, like trying to. Trying to do what everybody's asking for in fucking classic is try to make like all like try to balance all the classes. Like that's literally mm -hmm. why mastery was created. Now that I'm like really looking at this, yeah, it's where they made the most steps, right? Or like the biggest leap to try and uh, balance the classes as as best they could. Yeah, but it do just... I know if they're balanced? Not a clue. But I think getting one <laughs> stat to make one ability hit harder i enjoy that i think that's kind of fun it takes okay. so much out of like knowing the game and knowing how the stats work is such a cool thing that 
the majority of people don't properly understand and it sets you above others right yeah. where like so like so it goes both ways like you know you have your very skilled players that you know aren't really smart right but they're very you know they've got a lot of clicks per second right like they're really fast but they're just you know they're just kind of a dumb guy right so this is better for them because their twitch is uh rewarded more than their knowledge and their preparation um, yeah, and i think cat is like trending towards it's it's less about the difficulty of kata is less about knowing prep, things and preparation things mm -hmm. and more about physical execution yep in whatever you're doing and i think that's a lot cooler than people make it out to be i think it's a lot cooler for a lot of people not for me who's an old guy mm -hmm. who's slower not as quick as he was once the day you know like that's why i loved overwatch when i came in because Overwatch was a game that I could excel at and not be able to hit the shots like I used to. Like, I, you know, I, I wasn't a, a Widowmaker player. I was a Hanzo player, though. I'm just saying. I was pretty damn good at that. But uh, Diamond. Um, but, uh, but, yeah, for the most part, I was like a tank player. And I, did, I dabbled in healing and dabbled in DPS. But, like, I was able to... To like really be good at this game as an old man because of my knowledge for like what countered this what did this like knowledge was key you know for for the tank position you mm -hmm. know and like that was cool you know like so i don't know like i think different people will enjoy different things and i just i don't think that like i'm really uh <laughs> kinder's in chat I mean, kinder I used to just... be on watch point radio with me uh <laughs> he's bringing there's a think... former masters player sorry go so ahead just to give a counterpoint all right so the, the heroic grades if if you don't know the mechanic you, you're dead like you know, but that is preparation right there. If you don't know these mechanics, like, and there's there's multiple mechanics that are like raid wide mechanics. You know, like if you don't know what you're doing, you're just dead. Like, but the dungeons, though, it's straight up like the manual is straight up in the game now. Like the dungeon, yep. like you can you pull can up you the, can the dungeon abilities. guide. Yeah. So like, I mean, how is that any different than you pull up Wowhead? Because it's it's a step that normies won't do. Like, I mean, there's YouTube videos for everything. Like, Everybody. If, was if you want to know, well if you want to know what to do, y you can know what to do. But there are still the people that don't, right? Do, yeah. do they but have that for also raid the too? That are pulling up the dungeon journal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The dungeon journal is is raids as well. It's raids as well, huh? Interesting. Well, and, and it also like you cuts still, you still out. You have to see it, right? It cuts out content creators. Like, there's these cool sites that I go to, you know, that are made obsolete by these types of things. You better not include Zocify. That's AI. I just, I just know it. <laughs> they took our jobs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's just drastically. Like, my whole point of this whole conversation is it's drastically different. It is a drastically different game now. And when I, when I drastic coming more from the fact that we've been playing a lot of sod, like, do you think we would have felt the drastic difference that it is right now if we had come straight from Wrath? Yes, yes. Just like flying right at the beginning, like, it, like rather than working towards it, like we did in Wrath. Like, I mean, the talent trees changing. The entire world changing overnight, you know. I mean, it it does definitely like give you that feeling of like, oh my god, death we fucked everything up. Like, but it's still so different. I mean, mastery, armor pen being completely deleted from the game, um just so many changes. It's yeah, it's it's Bizarre to me. I don't know. But I mean, we're gonna keep we're gonna keep doing it. We're gonna 
we keep doing it. But uh, yeah, I'm thankful, so thankful for Saad. I'm just saying it right now. I went to BlizzCon this last year thinking it would be my last BlizzCon and thinking the podcast would be over soon. Saad was announced. And I was like, oh, it might shit. Have been your last BlizzCon. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Might have been everybody's last, but uh, yeah, Saad like was announced, and I was like, I wasn't really excited about it at the beginning, but after I saw what it was, I was like, oh shit, breathe new life into the podcast. We can keep this going because, guys, I'm not like the other creators. Like, I'll move on. I'll make a new podcast on something else that I love. Like, I only do this because I love it. That's the only reason that I do this podcast. It's yes, we do make money off of it but that's not the reason i do it like it's just like i feel like it's dumb to not do it if you can make money so Mm -hmm. yeah so this other creators they (laughs) they need to keep this going you know i'm not saying all of them lie but like some of them might you know like like they need it to keep going for their livelihood i i don't and so I'm hoping Saad just keeps going and we keep having something going. Cause I don't, I don't know, man. Kata might be my last classic expansion experience going forward. But I we will you see. If you don't try out pandas. Yeah, I know. I know. I do. Really? Want, you might like it. I do want to try out pandas, but no, I'll one, still they never broke forget. The game. They broke the game in that expansion. It was hilarious. How? I'll never forget when Willie said he didn't like pandas. And, and Scotty, Scotty Scotty looked like That's he like, was like, oh, what the fuck? How dare you? <laughs> you said Miss broke the it, game? It, just, it broke everything. Like, everything was just broken. Like you, could, Everything was great. Everything was yeah. so good. Every, every, every class was just overpowered beyond belief. Like, it was, it was just ridiculous. <laughs> So many people love Miss. Yeah, that's why, why? they loved it because it was just a clusterfuck. Because they like, were really oh, good. <laughs> yeah, it was just yeah, everything right. was going on. I was the best player, and everyone felt like the it's similar to like uh, I guess not sod PvP when sod PvP was like the whole one shot meta, and everyone was one shotting everyone in you phase felt one. Really strong, <laughs> you felt really strong because you were phase one was crazy. But then, I'm like, like <laughs> but to be fair, phase two, people said it was a one shot meta. The people saying it was a one shot meta were in PVE spec. Like, there, yeah. there was no dual talents. Like, they're in PVE spec. Lots of them even using PVE runes, expecting to, like, do well in PvP. Like, and not wearing any stamina gear. It was like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like, it's. <laughs> Like, I play Rogue Hunter, and it's not a one-shot meta. Like, mm-hmm. but, yeah, like, rogues don't want to put on stamina gear because, like, that's less damage. They want to do big numbers. Yeah. And they don't want to re-spec and do the actual PvP spec. So, yeah. I, I feel I, like we're just getting back to the, uh, yeah. the the classic player not understanding how PvP works. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yep. So the first, more the life first equals thing. more live. We've come full circle. Full circle, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, any so like any any last thoughts on Cata first impressions? Like looking towards the future, like how do you think this is all gonna pay it out? Anything? I like the grind I right now. I think this is enjoyable. Yeah. I I enjoy the little it's it's i'm not speeding through 85 and i'm having a good time not speed running you know not putting mm-hmm. so much stress i can kind of explore a little bit hang out not have to worry about being 85 as fast as i can i like it whereas really inside you were about worried about getting cap as soon as you could right what'd you say sorry in like Saad, you were worried about getting cap oh, yeah, right away because uh, it's 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 all on the raid schedule. To be honest, mm-hmm. it's all limited if, if time. The raids right? are out. So yeah, like, if oh, the raids this are next out, next phase is coming here. Like I gotta I gotta get it all done. You know. Yeah, if if the if the content's out, I'm gonna do the content. 
Yep. If the content right yeah. now is getting to 85 and getting previous gear, I'll do that in the time that it's allotted. And then once the raids are out, I'll do it. And then I'll go from there. Yeah. Right. I'll just uh, throw throw in that uh, I think you're going to enjoy it more than you think, Bob. Once, I, once you get you, properly so. going. Once I you get so. properly going. You've dipped your toes in, you know? All those <laughs> repressed memories, all those horrible things that you remember. <laughs> just, just give it a shot. You know, it's, just, it's 15 years later. Yeah, I'm doing better this time around of accepting how much everything has changed and trying to find the good in it instead of just being like, what the fuck fuck are you doing, you fucking morons? (laughs) Who the fuck are they hiring at Blizzard uh... right now? Because God damn it, they fucked my game. You know, I'm doing a little better this time around. Just wait till they queue the dungeons and you you, you find those players. Oh, God. There's going to be those players in every version, though. It's going to be. There's always those people. You can't avoid them. You can't avoid them. (laughs) They're everywhere. Unless you make your own groups, you know? Which I which I do. I I log in. I get begged to come to dungeons, so I'm I'm good. (laughs) (laughs) No one begs for a boomkin yet. Once they realize how good I am, then they'll know. (laughs) I don't know, dude. Anytime soon. I don't know. You're in B tier. I don't know. (laughs) Oh, tier lists can. Oh, how can we actually? You just be like anything from you. Is that what I sound like? You don't speak Boomkin? (laughs) I mean, that's what you sound like when you're in Boom, when you're in Boomy form. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm like, you're like, and I'm like, yeah, I'm coming, Loops. Okay, I'm spinning. (laughs) I feel like his his bark is probably a bit deeper than that, though, no? Bark. Bark, bark, bark. Man, this is taking a turn. (laughs) (laughs) Mm -hmm. All right, well. Any like any final thoughts before I close this out here? There's something weirdly fun about trying to find little circles on the ground in the map. Something weirdly fun about that that makes this a more fun gathering profession than like herbing or mining. You know what I mean? Oh, you're doing archaeology right now? Yeah. Oh my god. I will say it is it's more engaging than the other gathering professions. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah, concede that yeah, at least. That's what I'm saying, you know? But uh, I will not concede <laughs> that it is a good profession. I, I cannot <laughs> accept it being good. But then again, I, I grinded for three weeks and get my sword, so maybe I'm just salty. That yeah. might be it. I think the majority of people grinded and didn't get what they wanted. I mean, I could have gotten you, anything, you know? Like, I have you a mage. Have to be like a like, certain level before you get good things. Yeah, you got to be quite high to get the good stuff. <laughs> no. no. Oh, man. All right, well. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and close it out, guys. Sorry that I was uh, I was down the dumpsters, but somebody's got to say it. Because a lot of you at home know it's the truth. So somebody's got to say it, but we'll see. We'll see how... Things go in the future, but uh, don't forget don't forget to follow us on Twitter at WC Reloaded. Don't forget to follow the mash those buttons. Uh, fuck it. Our email address is wcrpodcast at gmail.com. My brain is all over the place. Uh, check out all of our links at warcraftreloaded.com. Help us out with some reviews on iTunes and Spotify. We're still Still doing good there. Help us out with uh, comments and likes on the on the YouTube, and uh, yeah, just help us out. Tell people all about the podcast. Where can we find you, Mel? Nowhere. You can find me here or in game. Maybe in Kata. Maybe in Sod. Sod, 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 Sod. Yeah, that's all. Sod greater than Kata. Uh, Lubes, where can we find you? Twitch.tv slash I am Lubes. I made a Twitter. I am Lubes. I have like three followers. Nice, nice. Good yeah. job, Lubes. There, I'm making it. I'm making it big. <laughs> <laughs> don't go follow him, guys. You might get a big head over here. Oh and my gosh. Shaka, you don't have any. Do you have any, like, where to find you or, or 
I mean, in... uh, if you want to find me, I'm on Firemore EU. Good luck. You can <laughs> find him as a uh, as a mod in the Warcraft Reloaded Discord as well. If you want to ask him some some questions, you should have said find me top of the DPS charts. <laughs> that is true. I am a warrior. So. <laughs> And you can find some things out. never change. <laughs> uh, all right. And you can find me on Twitter at blazin underscore Bob. That's B L A Z Z I N underscore a B O B. And on Twitch at blazin Bob. We'll see you guys next week. This one tired me out. Being negative tires me out. Being positive just makes me stay up longer. So at least I'll sleep good tonight. Love you guys. See you next week. Bye. Thank you very much for checking out Warcraft Reloaded Podcast. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss any future content. <laughs>